Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit, one God, Amin. We are starting the Holy Land, which is considered by the fathers of the church the most important time of the year, spiritually. And as I told you before, when we were fasting before Christmas, that every fasting has a different flavor, has a different goal. And what makes every fasting different is the event that we are going to celebrate at the end of every fasting. So the Lent leads us to Easter, leads us to the resurrection of our Lord Jesus Christ. And definitely the way to the crucifixion, to the, to the resurrection is going to be going to be through the crucifixion and the holy uh, week of passion. So the whole Lent is going to talk about how we experience death with Christ so that we can experience also resurrection with him. Death is related to sin, a resurrection is related to repentance. So every time we sin, and we're going to talk about different kinds of sins and different ways of sinning, the only way to go back to life is to repent, and that's how we're going to experience the resurrection, and we're going to see different models and different people who went through that, through the Sunday uh, readings during the Lent. So the first reading is going to be the reading according to Matthew chapter 6, verses 1 to 18. It's the Sunday before the Lent. And in this reading, three things are clear. God is talking about prayers, about fasting, and about charity. So what's new? Isn't that what all religions are talking about? No, he's going to take them to a different level. Christ is going to take them to the inside, to the heart. So he's going to say, when you give your charity, be sure that you're not doing this in front of people. And when you pray, you go to your room and you close your door and you pray to God, your Father who art in heaven, and your Father is going to reward you in front of all. And in the same thing, when you fast, do not look as if you're fasting to everyone, but wash your face and look good to everyone and your father who is in heaven is going to see you and is going to reward you. So the practical way, the first reading is talking about what's different in, in, during the Lent than before or after. Yeah, we're going to focus on three things. Prayers, fasting, and charity. And we're going to do them from the heart. They're not going to come from the outside. They're not going to be, it's nine o'clock, I have to pray. It's going to come from the heart, longing to be with Christ. It's not going to come from, uh, I have to put something in the church. It's going to come from the heart that wants you to give as, as a mean of showing love. It's not going to be fasting because I have to fast. It's going to be different. What's the difference? What's the difference in doing these things in Lent? The difference is simply, it's not a practice, it's not a law. I know that to a lot of us, fasting is like a law. It's like I have to eat fasting food. No. You're trying to say, this time of the year, I'm going to stay away from the things I used to do. I'm going to try to put God first. And this is how I am going to show that God comes first. So when you pray, it's not the law. It's your heart longing to be with God. And when he talks about prayer, prayer is not just talking, as I told you before, but prayer is talking and 
listening. So when he says praying, he means that you pray and you read the Bible. And when he says fasting, he doesn't mean only that Siyami food is okay and uh, regular food is not okay. But he means you're staying away from the things that you like because you have something more important that you like now, which is being with God. So please think about it. It's not the kind of food. It's why you're fasting. It's what's happening during that time. You're putting God first. So you're not thinking too much about food. So you're not going to waste a lot of time thinking of food. Then you're not going to care too much about the quality of food. Then you're going to eat the simple and easy food. Why? Because of something positive, because you want to be with more with Christ. Your thoughts, your efforts, your time is going to be spent more, which means that you're going to read more than any time of the year. You're going to listen to lectures and reading the Bible more than any time else in the year, which means that your charity and giving is also going to be more than any time of the year. Is prayer just prayer? No, it's prayer and reading the Bible and listening to lectures. Is fasting just like uh, uh, no meat, uh, just uh, vegetarian? No, it's more than that. It's staying away from all the things that you used to love because you have something more that you love during that time that you put it first. What about charity? What should I do? It's not only about the money. It's about the spirit of giving. It's the spirit of helping at home, helping your friends, helping people around you, helping people that you don't know. Starting to care more and give more to everyone around you. So prayers, charity, fasting are the three practical things. But inside every one of them, there are a lot of things you need to do. Start to have your plan ready for the land. How you're going to pray? You can pray from the Agbeya. Yes, sure. You need that. The Psalms are great. They're going to help you. They're going to teach you. They're going to tell you things inside you don't even know about them. Uh, short prayers. My Lord Jesus Christ, have mercy upon me. Yes, all the time. Um, quiet time and uh, opening my heart and to God. Yes. Reading the Bible, reading spiritual books, listening to lectures, giving at home, giving your friends, giving outside, giving the people you don't know. Yes, this is the high time, the high level of your spiritual life. You need to focus. You need to put these things in front of you and let's start the Holy Lent and a trip that our Holy Father said at the trip that will lead you to victory. It will lead you to the resurrection, not of Jesus, but of your own self, above your own weakness, above your own sins, and glory be to God forever. Amen.